hello youtube welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be reacting to christian okoye the nigerian nightmare guys finally i'm on that video since i started the channel from almost like the third video or fourth video when i like the nfl video when i really started the nfl videos you guys have been asking me react to christian okoye react to christian okoye i mean i guess because i'm nigerian so um I, I did I, I i read some stuff about him they said i, I saw he was a linebacker i think you guys told me that linebackers are like the biggest guys on the on the field like that the ones that 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 like the bodyguards or something that like the um um how would i put it like the enforcers I, if i could if i could use that word so um so he was a linebacker wow that is uh, <laughs> um that is some nigerian tough tough guy stuff <laughs> um anyway guys before i get into it do me a favor if you are new here subscribe to the channel or even if you are not new and you have been watching you know you've been being a ghost watcher subscribe to the channel and also if you love this reaction hit the like button i really appreciate it now let's get to it Superman from central africa named christian okoye okoye <laughs> i mean like <laughs> that pronunciation like with the phone with the with the phonetics okoye <laughs> wow let me let me give you the nigerian one christian okoye yeah that's the name christian okoye <laughs> uh um central africa i mean that west africa not central no, whatever who is who is who is who is looking this six foot one inch two hundred sixty four running back. Six is foot one. The Nigerian wait, 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 guys. I thought it was a linebacker. Wait, did I what did I even read? I think I might have read the wrong stuff. Like if it was if it was a linebacker, I can't just be six one. I thought you guys said they were the biggest ones in the in the team. So uh, if it's six one then I mean thought I, mean, I was thinking it would be like maybe like six seven or so <laughs> wow okay let's see let's see and his natural talent is a coach's dream damn okoye jumps higher and further than any other chief but it's his time in the 40 that really sets him apart. Nobody that big ever ran this fast. Hmm. Damn, he's big, though. He has a big body, but like. Oh, running back. Okay, that means I was I was wrong. I mean, did you? <laughs> did you this just doesn't through the whole thing? <laughs> Damn. Okay. It becomes a job, an all-day job. Christian Okoye is almost like an offensive lineman playing in the backfield. That's not even fair. I mean, who who dealt you that hand? Oh my God, this guy is unbelievable. He may be a Greek god before us. Not Greek, but an equally ancient civilization. Okay. <laughs> Christian Okoye is an Ibu tribesman from yeah, Ibu. Nigeria. Yeah. And until he arrived in the US at the age of 21, he had never heard of American football. Wow. American football had never heard of him. Christian Okoye. Okoye, yeah. Okoye. Okoye. <laughs> His ready smile won over teammates, and good-natured teasing bridged cultural gaps. <laughs> oh no, man! <laughs> oh no, American football number one. Number one, that's right. <laughs> uh, I'm sure about that. He was a humble giant. When you realize that athletic abilities comes from God, it makes you really want to work harder. I try to do what it takes, you know, to get. We were the running back. The field, you see. And um, that might be the reason why people always say Nigerian nightmare or something like that. So this guy, wait, 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 wait. 
Like this guy started learning the game at the age of twenty one. I mean, it, 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 it looks like the game is not that difficult. I mean, someone could just start learning the game. Actually, like depending on the 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 um, the role you are supposed to play. If your role is just be running and holding the ball and bulldozing, I, I guess there's not much to really learn. I mean, if I could say that, but like. I mean, if he, if he just moved to the U.S. Uh, at the age of 21, like, and he, he had never heard of American football at that point, that is, man, that is still impressive, though. It's still impressive. Like, even if, even if I may, I may feel that all he's doing is just be running and bulldozing people with his physical strength, but being able to understand the game and learn the game that fast and start p- play professionally and be good enough to even have a nickname, being called a nightmare, really impressive. Hmm. In just three years, Okoye went from unknown outsider to NFL centerpiece, hmm. wherever the game is played. Christian's personal life flourished as well with marriage to his college sweetheart, Lauren. But the Okoye story is not complete without a visit to the land of his birth. Some anthropologists believe mankind originated on the fertile Niger River Delta. Today, modern Nigeria has a burgeoning economy based on vast oil reserves. They live a very simple life. Very happy with little they got. Uh, kind of, I guess. I wanted to buy shoes, so I never had any sh- soccer shoes. I loved soccer a lot, so when I start playing, it, I don't even care to look at the time. By the time we're done, you know, it will be too long. But do your homework or do some do something else other than playing soccer. Yeah. But every day I have to play soccer. So when I get home, I'll get some punishment. Well, uh, I, w- I was the obedient child. So instead of being stubborn and playing sports when I was told not to play, I, I, I was obedient and I was trying to read my books. Though I didn't read it well enough, I, uh, apparently. But <laughs> um, no, I was, like, I wasn't terrible or anything, but like... Looking at it now, sometimes I used, I used to sit down and think of uh, my younger days. Like sometimes I, I I think maybe maybe I could have been a bit a bit more rebellious, just a bit more, just a bit more. But well, but but that was I was I was a good I was a good child, you know, mostly obedient. Not like I was not that I didn't do anything out of the um the rules or anything, but I. You know, as in for the most part, I was obedient. So, I mean, but him, he, he paid off for him because the stubbornness and everything, you know. <laughs> and from what he's saying, he was whooped. Let me, let me go back and hear what he's saying there. But every day I have to play soccer. So when I get home, I'll get some punishment. Yeah, that punishment is whooping. Nigerian champion and Ass whooping. And was African champion. And to his parents' joy, he accepted a scholarship at California's Azusa Pacific College, where his life took yet another dramatic turn. In 1984, I qualified to go to the Olympics. But for some reason, I didn't go for my country. So I decided to do something else, and, and that was football. I thought it was a crazy game, you know? People just banging heads and making a bunch of noise. <laughs> yeah. The game doesn't flow like soccer. My last year in college, you know, I said to myself, I think I like this. Every game I gained over 150 yards or something like that. So I enjoyed it a lot. And I wanted to be as good as I can be. <laughs> Kansas City drafted this unpolished gem in the second round. Hmm. But the NFL was not NAIA Division Three. And these were not 180-pound linebackers waiting to be steamrollers. Okoye was years behind fundamentally. Yeah, I mean, can I imagine that? Just when it seemed that the load was too heavy, even for these massive shoulders, Coach Marty Schottenheimer <laughs> took over the Chiefs and simply called for Christian's best. Are you okay? Yeah. 100%? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Christian! Keep it up. Keep it up. 
Damn, this is getting built. Woo! Hand off a Koye. He's past the ten. He's past the five. He chucks in touchdown. Unbelievable! An incredible run by the Nigerian nightmare. Yeah, feel good, did it? Yeah. Yeah. Like old times. In 1989, the Nigerian nightmare led the entire NFL in rushing. Has he reached his peak? His coach doesn't think so. If you can rush for 1,500 yards between the tackles, where they got everybody stacked. If we throw you some M's and some Y's and you'll catch them, you'll make another 2,000 yards that oh, way. Oh, yeah, easy. Huh. In the Hebrew language, Koye means Sunday. That's the day Christian shows where he's going and how far he's come. Huh. <laughs> I, have to, I have to say, he really looks like a Nigerian. He looks like a Nigerian. Like people say, I don't look like a Nigerian that much, but <laughs> he looks like a Nigerian, like a real, real Nigerian. I guess I'm a fake Nigerian. I guess, oh, whatever. Christian, you know, American football is great. I love it. Bo language. Guys, I'm from a different tribe, like um, Ibo, Ibo, like, uh, do I even have to go into this? Let me just be fast. Um, there are three major tribes, Igbo, Hausa, and Yoruba. Yeah, so my tribe is like the minority tribe, like kind of a minority. Not that we are that minority, but we are kind of minority. We are not like the major tribe. You know? So I don't understand Igbo language, obviously. Um, and there are so many, 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 many tribes. Like, but the main ones, the major ones are the Igbo, Hausa, and Yoruba. States of America, there is what they call American football. This is called National Football League. Hmm. One of our sons, Christian Okoye, he is now playing American <laughs> football. He started the way you started uh. by playing soccer, and he went to try and he succeeded. Every time I think about where I came from and what I'm doing, that is that. I am more than grateful. I just, you know, thank God because this is a very great opportunity and position. Hmm. He's dressing like real Niger. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I can see why you guys wanted me to watch this video. Like, you really want. You really wanted to see my perspective when it came well, like when it came to this video i now understand why you guys want that and i enjoyed the video seriously like um i mean the guy looks like a real real niger man real niger yeah i'm going to i'm going to turn you guys to nigerians <laughs> um i mean it's always a very very good story when someone comes from um you know a poorer country that we like i would say and um you know you go to a more developed country and you go and make it it's always a very very great story and you don't, you don't just make it like in terms of just being you know a, 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 an, an average citizen you make it in a way that you are exceptional and you are exceptional to a point where you actually have a nickname wow that is that's remarkable and kudos to him and kudos to um his family and everything 
like I said, I, I wish I was a bit more rebellious when I was younger. Maybe that could have been me as well. <laughs> um, instead of um, going to school and coming to do some, you know, low paying office job, but whatever. Anyway, guys, <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed the reaction. You guys really requested this video and I hope my reaction was good enough. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.